We'll guide you through how to add mods to a Minecraft server. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So this video is going to be focusing on hosting a Minecraft server from your computer and network and adding mods to that. However, if you want your server to be online 24 seven and not hosted on your computer, then go and check out Apex Hosting. There'll be a link down below in the comments and the description. It's got so many awesome benefits like one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support so you can get help anytime you need it, instant setup and so much more. And at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice. So if you're interested, there'll be a link down below which you can go and check out. Also another advantage is you don't have to give out your own IP address. So if you're interested, there'll be a link in the description and in the pinned comment which you can click on and get right here. To go and do this, we're going to be using something called Forge. Forge is essentially a mod loader, which we can go and create a server with, and we'll also install it on our computer and anybody else's computer who wants to join the server. And then we'll go and get the mods as well. So first of all, I like to start off with getting the mods. So let's go to a site called CurseForge. However, you can get mods from loads of different sites. We'll come to curseforge.com, click on Minecraft, and then we'll click on categories and go to mods. So go and find the mods you want. For example, I'll get just enough items. We'll come into files. It's important that you note down the game version that we go and get it, it for as well because the game version needs to be the same for all of the mods and also for the version of Forge we get. So in this case, I'll go and get it for 1.20.4 for Forge. So I'll click on the three dots and click on download file. It's now gone and downloaded and we can now go and get more mods. As I said though, they now need to be for 1.20.4 in my case, so I'll make sure that's right. After you've downloaded the mods, now what we need to do is go and get Forge. So you can just search Forge Minecraft like so and come to the site. Now we need to get the same version as the mods is in. So in my case is 1.20.4. Then what we can do is go and click on the installer. You'll get taken to an add wall. So just beware if there's a download button here, this is not for Forge, it's for the add. You need to click on the skip button in the top right and it will go and start. So we've now downloaded what we need for now. So come out of your web browser and open your file explorer. Come into your downloads and here are the files. So select them and just go and place them on your desktop. Now, first of all, we're gonna go and install Forge onto our own Minecraft client. As I said, anybody else who joins the server will also need to do this. So go and double click on Forge like so. You should then go and get this pop-up. If you don't, maybe something else happens or nothing opens, what you need is Java. Go and search for Java or go to java.com. And what you need to do is download Java and install it. It's really easy. And then come back to Forge, right click on it. And you need to go and click on open with and you need to click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, you may need to click on choose another app and it should then go and open. If it still doesn't, then what you need to do is something called a jar fix and that relinks jar and Java files. We've got a full video on that, which you can check out. So once you've gone and got Forge open, we're gonna start off with install client and then go and press okay. Now go and wait for it to install. Just like that, it's now finished and you can go and press okay. So we've now installed it onto our own client. Now on your desktop, right click, and you want to click on new or hover over it and press folder and name this modded server or whatever you want. Now open up Forge again. And what you need to do is click on install server, come down here and click on the three dots. And you then need to go into this folder here. So click on desktop for me, and then you can go and select your folder. Mine is modded folder, which I've now selected, and we can go and click okay. After it's finished, press OK, and you now want to go and open up the folder just like so. And now what you need to do is go and double click on run.bat like this, and this should go and open up. And now we need to go and agree to the EULA, which will do. But if you're having any problem with running that there, it may be because you need to go and get something called Java JDK or just JDK. So come to the Java website and you need to come down to where it says here, are you a software developer looking for JDK downloads? Click on Java SE Development Kit, and we can then click on JDK 22. Choose your operating system, in this case from Windows, and you can then go and download the installer. Go and download it, and then install it. And then come back here and try running that file again, and it should go and work. However, I already have it installed, which is why I didn't have the problem. So then you need to go and open up the EULA. Make sure you agree to it. I've already read this, so I'm gonna go and change that to true, which I'll now type in, like so and you then need to go and click on file and click on save. 
And then what you can do is double click on the run.bat again. And now it should go and run. Now you should go and get this Minecraft server, go and pop up as well. It now says done, but now the server is online and it's running, but we need to go and add the mods. So you can then go and close this off like so, and it'll go and take a moment and it will go and go. Now what you need to do is find the mods folder here, and then you need to go and double click in it, and you need to go and find your mods. So in this case, we've got our two here. Now just go and select them and right click and go and press on the copy button because of course we need to install these into our client as well. So we can right click and paste them in here. Now what you want to do is go and relaunch your server. So go back into the folder and run the run.bat file and you can wait for this to launch. It should automatically do it. And now we need to open up the Minecraft launcher and install the mods onto our client as well. Go to the top of the Minecraft launcher and click on installations and scroll down and TC forge. Hover your mouse over it and go over to the right and click on the file or folder icon. Then what you want to do is scroll down and TC the mods folder, which is just here. I've already got a mod in here, but it's for a different version and for a different mod loader. So just delete it as otherwise it may crash and things like that. Now what we need to do is go and move the mods into this folder as well. So I've now found them, I'll highlight them and go and drag them in like so. Now what we can do is go and play Minecraft. Just make sure you go to the left of play and you go and run it with Forge, like so. You need to understand the risks as you're playing with a modified version of Minecraft, but that's fine. Here we are in Minecraft. When I click on mods, we'll go and see the mods we installed. So now to go and join the server, as you can see it's online, all you need to do is come into multiplayer. You can click on add server. And because we're hosting on our own computer, you can just type in local host. And for other people to start going playing it, of course, they'll need to have those mods and forge installed for the same versions. Also, you'll need to port forward your server, or we've got another method you can use, which will go and put a link down below of making your server available to the public. So there it is. And now I'll go and join the server. And as you can see, we can see I'm joining it over to the left here. And you can go and see our mods because we've got the mini map and also just enough items as well. That's how you can add mods to a server.